Hi viewers and uh, dear students, I am here today to explain Cambridge IGCC ICT 2016 October November paper 31 spreadsheet part. So in this part of the question, they ask us to perform some calculation like you are going to prepare a spreadsheet to calculate the advertising cost charged by hot house design to each hotel in Goa. So use the most efficient formula to display all currency values in Indian rupees to two decimal places, for example, like that. And one rupee is equal to 100 pesa. So now here they said use using a suitable software package load the file 163resort.csv. So we will open this file. And then they said, save this file as your spreadsheet with the file name 163 underscore your center number and candidate number. So I'm going to file, save this one as into the same folder 163 underscore my center number and then underscore my candidate number as a spreadsheet and then just click on OK as it is saved now. Next step they ask place an automated file path which include file name on the right in the header. So we'll just click on um, header here or we can just click insert a header here. So towards the right side file name and path so file name and path when you click here so path and file name both will be displayed so as you can see this is how it will look like now next step they said insert four new row before row four so here right click insert a row one more row three and then four four rows are inserted now here they ask us to do what in cell a1 enter the title this title in cell a1 so this is a1 just paste it and next step they said merge cell a1 to g1 like that merge cells next Format this cell to have a black background with a white 36 point center line sans serif font. So font color is white, background is black, 36 point uh, sans serif font. So I always choose Arial as my sans serif font. And next they have said make sure that all the text is visible so we need to make sure now all the text is visible so we just need to yeah arrange everything just like that and i'm going to expand a little bit some of the rows and columns so that the heading is clearly visible just like that yeah now all the details uh, the heading is clearly seen next they said in cell f3 enter the text rate f3 so here I'm just going to type here rate and then they said in F4 enter 124 in F4 124.2 124.2 that's it uh, make the content of cells in row starting with result and number of rooms bold and underlined so 
number of rooms resort and number of rooms so this one this one they have mentioned to make them as um, bold and underline just like that now next step is to move forward as they have said in cell d6 enter a formula to look up the external file 16.3 taluka.csv the taluka name for the resort so we need to open that file also and then we need to open our main file in cell d3 in cell d6 yeah so here equal to v lookup then by looking at the code then comma the table array is here so the look the name that's it and then comma column is two and then false just close the bracket and press enter button you will get the information here next step in cell e6 enter a formula to look up from the external file the location this time so here equal to we look up bracket start by looking at the code comma from table array here we need to get the location this time comma column 3 and statement is false means exact match and next step is in cell g6 enter formula to calculate the advertising cost which is the rate entered in step 16 multiplied by 25 if the resort has 50 or less room 75 if the resort has more than 50 but less than 101 rooms then 150 if the resort has more than 100 but less than 201 rooms and then 200 if the resort has more than 200 rooms so we need to uh, enter the formula here in cell g6 to get the advertising cost so for this one we are going to uh, type the formula equal to so this rate that we have this rate and then we press the f4 button to get the exact reference then multiply this one if if what if f6 if the rooms are less than 51 then the cost is 25 otherwise if f6 is less than 101 then the cost is 75 then comma if f6 is less than 201 then comma the cost is 150 otherwise 200 that's it and then close the bracket in this case and then press enter button so it is multiplied with the cost and next step is in cell b 27 enter a formula to add the total number of rooms in column a so now we need to use a function uh, in cell number as they have mentioned b27 so b27 here so we need to uh, count actually the total number of rooms here so equal sum if 
bracket start sum if mm, yeah and we'll check for each and every one sum if and our criteria first of all we get our range and the range will get from here from e6 to e24 and then comma we will look for e27 and then comma the cost as well and then close and press an enter button that's it till now we don't have any other thing and we just need to yeah i have entered this one formula here next step is it replicate the formula enter in uh, step 18 19 and 20 for each result and in step number 21 for each location so i'm going to replicate this formula here and then I'm going to replicate these ones for each resort. Just like that. So here we got the results. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fix this one as a absolute reference which is not going to change and this one as well and now I'm going to replicate again so this is how it will look like and next step is uh, apply appropriate formatting to all the cells apply appropriate formatting so we need only formatting for this one to be in Indian rupees so select this one then format cells format cells and then uh, currency and two decimal places and we are going to choose here the Indian rupees So we just choose from here Indian rupees now. So mm, that's it. Click on OK. In the Indian rupees, as they have mentioned, the currency symbol is this one and then for the rate as well for rate i'm going to choose as well here for this one again format table cells and then currency and this one must be used as a indian rupees as well Then just click on OK. That's it. And next, they have mentioned here save and print the spreadsheet showing the formula. Make sure that your name, and number, candidate number are entered in an appropriate uh, place on the spreadsheet. Uh, then yeah, it is in landscape orientation, and then uh, it is uh, rows and column headings are mentioned clearly so you need to uh, include here your name and center number as well so in this case uh, what you can do is you just open your spreadsheet and uh, click on file and then just click on uh, uh, print as well and then go to page setup header and footer now in footer in the center you can just say here your name 
center number and ended number like that click on ok ok done now they ask you to print with the formulas first so formula then click on formula sheet here so you just need to print this one just like that make sure your formulas are clearly visible yeah that's it now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on page break preview let's see how it will look like so I'm going to extend this one here just like that so this is printed on single page and page layout I'm going to choose from here landscape yeah now it is landscape so this is what I'm going to print yeah so file print and print option here sheet and display the row and column heading when you are printing so this is how you will print and next step they have mentioned here print the spreadsheet showing the values this time the orientation portrait and fully visible data so this time I'm going to change now the orientation to portrait and uh, go back and data sorry formula will not going to show the formula this time and just extend so that um, we're just going to extend so the heading is also clearly visible when you print so now you have to print in this view and then next step is change the data model so that the result Sun Village has an extra 50 rooms added. So we'll go back to the normal view here. Which resort they said Sun Village. Yeah, so Sun Village has 50 extra rooms. So when they ask you to have 50 extra rooms, so you have to add to it 25 plus 50 so they will be 75 then yeah so you just type here 75 now so the values will change once the values change you need to uh, print again and that will be the end of your spreadsheet part of 2016 october november uh, paper 3-1 so thanks for watching, subscribe the channel for more videos and updates.